Hi, that knows me knows I love talking about professional wrestling, and I'm so excited. Coming up October the 18th, Colonial F Arena, SmackDown, coming to town. One of the superstars that's going to be a part of that show is the one and only Johnny Gargano. Johnny, appreciate your time this morning. How are we doing today? My pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Very excited for SmackDown to come to town here in a couple of months. I've never been to a SmackDown. Bought my tickets the other week. Very excited to see what's going to be going down there. Uh, you're you're an indie guy. You came up through the ranks before getting your time to WWE. Did you have any stops along the way in, in South Carolina? Any any cities around here that may stick out to you as a uh, across your wrestling career? I want to say I did. Uh, like I said, I traveled all over the Carolinas when I was on the Indies. But I also have as well with NXT. So I want to say I've been there a few times. The Carolinas obviously has a very rich history in professional wrestling. And being a wrestling nerd, I'm always excited to go back. Well, uh, you are a part of a, a great time to be in professional wrestling right now. WWE has tons of momentum. You guys are selling out venues. Ratings are super high. Revenue is at an all-time high as well. What's it like for you, especially as you mentioned, being such a wrestling nerd yourself uh, growing up, being a part of this real resurgence of, of WWE and professional wrestling as a whole? It's incredibly cool, man. Uh, everyone always mentions the Attitude Era, right? They talk about how the Attitude Era was the hottest wrestling's ever been, and it'll never get back to that point. Uh, but now it feels like we're at that point and maybe going above that point, which is it's wild to be a part of it. It's wild to be on the inside now. And um, I, I'm one of those people that don't live in the moment, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so I think years from now, I'll look back on it and be like, wow, I can't believe I was actually a part of that. Again, talking to WWE superstar Johnny Gargano on the X point here on your Wednesday. You were in NXT under the tutelage of Triple H, and that was some of the best wrestling TV I've ever watched in my entire life as a wrestling fan. Now he's in charge of things uh, on the main roster, and again, things are, are, are going swimmingly as, as of right now. Why does he succeed so much as being a leader? Not just because he was a former professional wrestler, but what other qualities about him makes him so good at his job? Yeah, he's one of the smartest, most, he's one of the smartest, hardest working people I've ever been around. I always call him the busiest person on the planet. Uh, and it's funny that we mentioned like the hottest time periods in wrestling. Uh, I was with Triple H and Black and Gold NXT, which a lot of people look back on very fondly. They love Black and Gold NXT. That was the hottest maybe NXT's ever been. Uh, and now the hottest WWE's ever been is also under Triple H. Uh, I think there's a common denominator there. Uh, he knows how to utilize talent. He knows how to let talented people be talented. And that's that helps out a ton, uh, and he also believes in not looking down our, on our audience. Uh, he believes in long-term stories and letting things pay off that way, and uh, he's, he was like that back in NXT. He's like that now in WWE, but also he cares about the people, and that, that, that means the world, you know? Uh, I have a great relationship with Triple H, and uh, I, I can't wait to see what he does moving forward, because I, I firmly do believe we're just getting started. We haven't even seen where Derby's going to go yet. Uh, you mentioned the days of black and gold NXT, which I'm very fond of myself. I don't think there's ever going to be, in my opinion, a better professional wrestling rivalry than what you and Tommaso Ciampa had back in the day. It's nice that you guys were able to clear things up and are back to being a tag team again, but man, you guys had some had some great storytelling uh, storytelling matches back in the day. Yeah, thank you, man. That's that. that whenever I, I, I do interviews or anything, that's one of the things that people bring up is me and Tommaso. Uh, and it's funny, like when I'm on the street or I'm walking around, I mean, like, me and Tommaso is the rivalry people always bring up. So to look back on that and uh, to be able to have that in my back pocket and have that something that we've done in the past is very, very cool. And now that me and Tommaso are back together now on SmackDown, uh, we already got one tag team title run under our belt. Who knows? How many more we're going to have under our belt? But, uh, yeah, I, I've been extremely lucky <laughs> to, to have some uh, very cool memories in WWE so far. Well, just make sure you always watch your back because you never know. It may turn hey, on you yeah, again. I, don't talk to me. I learned. I learned. I know. <laughs> I like to think he's a different person now. <laughs> Look, he's a dad now. We're both dads now. So maybe you never know. Maybe he's changed. But maybe not. Who knew? You never know. Again, talking to Johnny Gargano here on the Extra Point on your Wednesday. You're a Cleveland guy. SummerSlam was just in Cleveland this past weekend at the Brown Stadium huge event. Roman Reigns made his return. Again, you guys didn't have the best night on Friday, losing your, your tag team titles to the bloodline there. But for you, how cool is it to see a, a, such a huge event like that being in your hometown? It's so incredibly cool, man. I've waited my life for that. I've waited. I guess SummerSlam 1996 was the very first WWE show I ever went to. Uh, that was the night I 
decided I wanted to become a professional wrestler. And since then, I've waited for a big 4 v pay-per-view to come back to Cleveland. And I think the coolest thing for me is because I'm so proud of Cleveland, Ohio. Like, it is my hometown. Uh, I was just excited for people to, like, come from all over the world and see what I've known my whole life. And that's how cool Cleveland is. And to be able to talk to wrestling fans now while they were there and be like, man, this place is awesome. You were right. I think that, that is the, the coolest thing for me. By the way, I hope you're feeling okay after uh, Jacob Fatu got his hands on you on Friday night. That looked pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm recovering. I'm recovering. <laughs> Again, talking to Johnny Gargano, WWE superstar here on the X Point. We, uh, we've we been keeping tabs on our guy, Trick Williams. Uh, if you weren't familiar, he's a former uh, yep. football player here at the University of South Carolina. He's somebody that is quickly rising up the ranks. Uh, obviously had his run with the NXT championship that was ended uh, a couple weeks ago. But, you know, when you look at somebody like him, who, again, is kind of one of the, the future stars, of this company what stands out to you well why is he so good and why is he uh climbing up the ranks the way that he has yeah i'm so incredibly proud of trick and uh, where he's at uh to see where he came from and to see what he is now uh it, it, you know, it's the work he's put in and it's the drive and the want and and the desire to be great uh trick has just such a incredible charisma that we've always seen. We've known from day one that he had that charisma. And it was just him going out there and taking his moment and taking that opportunity and making the most of it. And he did. Uh, he's done such an incredible job. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for him because I think that the future is so incredibly bright for Trick Williams. Again, SmackDown coming to Colonial Life Arena on October the 18th. Johnny Gargano will be a part of that. As I mentioned, I, I'm a huge wrestling fan. This will be my first time attending a SmackDown event. For anybody like myself that's going to their first one, what's your advice uh, for a first-time goer? First time viewer. So, so first time going to a SmackDown, I'd say just have an open mind, be ready for anything, and just be ready to have a good time. You know, like that's it's, it's going to be one of the greatest nights of your life. It's just such a different atmosphere in the arena the energy is just so different so unique than compared to watching it from your own home uh you're surrounded by crazy wrestling fans and and my advice also just bring a sign if you're one of those people that want to bring a sign please bring a sign as performers we appreciate it when you bring signs we like looking down the crowd and reading them so if you're you're going to the event bring a sign make it as creative as possible and just have a great time well, certainly looking forward to that. We are a sports radio station here at 107.5 The Game. As I mentioned, you're a Cleveland guy. I know you're a really big Browns fan, so I'll slide your Cleveland yeah. Browns question. Coming off a playoff appearance, what's your optimism for the Browns this year? I mean, Super Bowl. I got to say that, right? <laughs> I got to be <laughs> going off a playoff appearance. All right, if everyone stays healthy, uh, if everything goes you know, as it should, Super Bowl or bust for the Browns. Well, uh, we'll, we'll hold you to that, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they can, uh, you know, get things continuing in the right direction after uh, all those tough years of being a Browns fan through the mid 2000s. Oh, you, you, you're, yeah, you're, 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 you're strong <laughs> for dealing with that. I, tell, I, I say all the time, it takes a certain type of person to be from Cleveland, Ohio. That's what made me who I am. So there you go. Well, you, I've been hardened all these years. I, I was going to say your toughness definitely trans, uh, translates over into the ring. We certainly watch, uh, enjoy watching you in the ring and can't wait to see you here in Columbia here in a couple months. Thank you, man. Appreciate you very much. Absolutely. Again, that is Johnny Gargano, WWE superstar, who's going to be part of SmackDown, the whole crew coming into Colonial Life Arena on October the 18th.